Good morning. This is RJ Podesky, and today we are going to build the first project for the Hello World Android project, following along in Chapter 1 from the Android Bootcamp text, 3rd edition from Kareen Hosington. First thing you're going to want to do is double-click the Android Studio application after you have it installed. Um, that takes a little bit of time to load. Once that happens, go ahead and click on Start a New Android Studio Project. We're going to give our application a name, and we're going to call it Hello Android World. And the company domain we're going to supply is androidbootcamp.net. We need to store our project files in a project location on our desktop or on a thumb drive, as the text indicates. I have a thumb drive in my laptop, and I'm going to store it in the workspace directory. And I'm going to call this Hello Android World. It's going to grab that from the application name. And go ahead and click Next. And we have to select which target Android devices we're building our application for. I'm going to select the default here for phone and tablet, the minimum software development kit for the ice cream sandwich platform for just a phone and a tablet. And I'm going to select Next. The Android uh, Studio allows you to select some templates by which to build your mobile application. Our first one, we're just going to select the basic activity and click Next. And we need to give our activity a name. And we are going to leave the defaults here as main activity and click Finish. The Android Studio is going to initialize the, uh, the project files and build those into the IDE for us then to be able to build our first Hello World app. This does take a little bit of time. You'll notice down here in the bottom right hand screen above my battery, it says two processes running. This takes a little bit of time to render, um, so just be patient. I can tell you that the Android Studio does consume quite a bit of memory, at least on my machine. While this loads, I'll show you here in Task Manager that the Android Studio is consuming around 633 megs of memory. So it is a little thick in terms of a development environment. Our pane here you're going to see on the uh, where this is loading right here is actually where we can render this for a specific device and we can use the virtual device to test our application without installing it on a uh, on a mobile device itself. Eventually the application will load with the uh, emulator here on the left with what the application looks like. Again, this may take some time. You may end up with some error messages to begin with. Um, if that occurs, you can um, try to refresh um, the build process and there'll be a link there for you to do that if that happens. First thing I'm going to do now that I have uh, my environment set up is I'm going to select the device that uh, I want to emulate as I'm building my app. And I'm going to select the Nexus 5 so it gets the screen dimensions set up properly. And you'll see that change right here. And 
And you'll see that we've got our Hello World app set up as well in our application. So where does this Hello World come from? I'm going to select the text view control, the text box that has Hello World. And you can see here from the properties, you can see the text Hello World as it is, uh, as it's listed. You can also see all the properties by clicking on the View All Properties button. And we can see the additional details here that allow, that allow us um, to modify the properties of that Hello World text view control box. Currently our Hello World text is listed here as static text and we want to allow that text to be referenced by means of a variable through the strings.xml file. So when I have Hello World here displayed here under text view from the component tree, I'm going to change my text value here in text view on the right to at string forward slash hello world. And press tab and you'll see that this causes a rendering problem and that's perfectly okay. I'm going to reference those values from the strings.xml file. And if you expand the res folder and values here on the left and open up the strings.xml file, again, this is the um, XML file that we would edit to change those variables. It's recommended as, um, as a beginner to use the translations editor in order to do this. You'll notice Hello World doesn't exist here yet, and we need to add a key or a variable in order to do that. And we're going to call that Hello World with an underscore. And then we're going to change our, our default value from hello world to hello world my first Android app. And I'm going to click OK. You can see that it's added that key for us and the default value. And if I close the translations editor, you'll see that that gets added to my strings.xml file as well. I'm going to go ahead and close that strings.xml file. Just as a matter of good practice, I'm going to save my application. And now I'm going to run the app from the toolbar so we can actually emulate this now. So I'm going to click on the play button here at the top. This is going to take some time to build itself. If your Nexus 5 doesn't display here initially the first time you run this, you can create a new virtual device and select Nexus 5 and then select whatever the latest um, API is for that. I'm going to click OK. And this is now going to spend some time, as you can see down here in the bottom right hand corner, executing tasks to build the application and you'll see Gradle build running as well here in the uh, status bar at the bottom. So again, this takes some time, and eventually um, you'll see the Android emulator window display. And you'll also see um, a virtual image of that Nexus 5 phone display. You'll see the Android uh, logo show up here, um, typically as the phone emulates the boot process. And eventually when we give it some time, the main uh, desktop screen or, or main screen will display uh, for the phone. So once the device gets powered on, you should see the typical background desktop for uh, the app uh, for the Android uh, Nexus 5 phone. Um, give this just a little bit more time to load. And our application should display here for us. I 
one thing to keep in mind is when your phone does load, it may be at the lock screen and you may need to simulate um, the action of unlocking the phone. And if so, you can just click the unlock button and drag up uh, to simulate your finger moving up and unlocking the phone. But, uh, but here we go. Hello Android World is our application name and you can see that our string value from the strings.xml file for our hello world variable is displayed here as hello world my first Android app. So the device uh, controls here on the side will allow you to uh, perform some common functions. Uh, from here I can uh, actually get out of the app either from here or from here. Um, I can also power off and power on the Android device if I need to. Um, so it simulates um, its real action. So you can see I can close the app, I can get to other uh, typical functions that I would have on an Android phone as well. Um, so this is something you can explore and actually test out how your applications interact with uh, the phone device that you've chosen. Uh, when you're done and you've tested your app, uh, you can close the window here from the toolbar on the right. And as always, don't forget to save your application. So that's it for, uh, for this lab, uh, for Chapter 1, uh, meeting the Android app and getting our typical obligatory Hello World application up and running. So thanks so much.